Hey, my name is Joshua Lee, and I'm in grade 12 right now. I had a good weekend. Nice. I'll search it up when I get home. Okay. My name is Jason Gubbles. I am in grade 12. Yeah. Oh, wow. Well, yeah, because sometimes you want to take your friendship out of the classroom and go mm. into outside the classroom. Like you might want to go into Vancouver or just parts of Richmond That's with your friends and things you like Vancouver, doing. I'm from Vancouver, yeah. So my name is Eve Manuk. I've been in the school district for probably just over 29 years now. I work with students, I work with their families and staff. We're wanting to really take a look at what are those skills that are needed to help our students go from being a secondary student to being a young adult. So it's that whole, how do we move students forward in developing their independence and things like transit training, things like understanding, how do you apply for a job? What does that look like? What do you need to do when you are going for an interview? And how do you work on resumes? And how do you make a good first impression? And when you think about your social communication, how do you interact with other people? What do you need to look like? Where do you need to stand? Where do your eyes need to be? and all those things that we're helping students get ready for that next step in their life. So it, it, it's a gap that we are filling and you know, pr really proud to say that students are doing really well. Before transit training, I was never taking the bus by myself before, always someone or in a boys group from McRoberts. I, I remember Eve showing me how to do it, so I feel experienced now, so I feel I know how to take transit by myself to my school right now. Yeah. I really like the okay. go anywhere now because I know how you take transit now. Yeah. Hi there. Hi. Hi. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, he actually he was diagnosed uh, back in when he was six um, with uh, you know um, um, autism, and uh, I was concerned if he wasn't ever be independent and uh, you know he has to rely on someone which i don't mind but still it gives him more freedom and confidence if he can do something on his own so when we start up in september the only thing we do is transit training because we have students that are coming on the bus but they cannot get the bus back they have to get public transportation so we have students that have never been on a bus before When they started doing the transit training, we were quite nervous because Jason had never taken the bus on his own, ever. Eventually, um, I, my fear was gone because I knew that they were, all. Ha Jason has the app on his phone, he knows where to, um, how to catch the bus, and he knows where he's going. He is very good at navigation. So that mixed with learning how to take the bus was uh, comforting. And so now he um, just rides all over Richmond. So our job is to make sure that, first and foremost, parents understand we've got this. Like, we know how to do this. We've got the curriculum that we designed in partnership with TransLink. It's a curriculum that's been tested and tested and tested. We feel really confident about it. And we know that it's really gradual, and we know that it's student-centered and student-positive. Go ahead and press the button. All right. The way that we do it makes sense, and your child is going to tell us what they need. And we only go as far as we believe that the student is capable of doing, and then we go to the next step and the next step. It's very gradual. The longest, which one's going to be the fastest? We'll there to find out what okay. she's going to I have so many things to grateful, you know, uh, number one is, you know, the school system really came up with exploration and really helped my kids develop to the direction and to the speed that I'm very surprised at how fast he has grown and how fast he has gained his confidence and I think it's going to be beneficial for all the kids, as I said, it's not just for autism kid and to gain their social skill, their independency, and uh, you know their confidence and to learn new things in the in their lives. Taking the sky train is so much fun. Last time I took a 
the bus and the sky train to Jolie Bees, which is in Vancouver. I think it's important for every school to have an explorations um, program for kids with disabilities or for any kid really that wants to take it because they deserve the same chances that everybody else has. It's changed my life in that I um, have a lot more hope for him and I see that he's happy and so that makes me happy and I just he's always wanted to do what all the other kids are doing and now he is.